Starting on February 22nd, the Kittredge Center at Holyoke Community College will host a series of programs aimed specifically at seniors. It's called Living Fully at 55 Plus, and we spoke with course coordinator, author, and life journey guide Martha Johnson to find out more. When people turn 60, uh, and you talk to a lot of them, and so do I, it's, it's a big turning point. And you've lived longer than you're going to live in the future, and you've had a big part of your career, and now it's like you don't expect to have 20 or 30, you didn't expect to have mm -hmm. 20 or 30 years mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. to live, and it's sort of like, what am I going to do now? And the, the questions are, uh, you know, myriads of questions, because it's a third chapter of life, a whole other chapter. And those questions mm -hmm. about uh, what am I going to do now, how am I going to manage my losses as, as I proceed through these years? And how am I going to befriend my death at the end of this in a way that I don't end up in the hospital with tubes hanging out of me? Um, are very important questions. And they're, they're questions that people avoid. <laughs> so Well, they're not pleasant. They're not easy to talk about. They're not <clears throat> easy to talk about. And they're very easy to postpone. Mm -hmm. So uh, this, this program is, is at, at Hoyo Community College is designed mm -hmm. to invite people in to engage with some of those questions. These are not um, questions that have the answers for you, but rather pose the question very um, kind of broadly and say, okay, how are you thinking about this and what might you need to do about this? And, are, are you thinking about it in a way that's useful for you and your family? Mm -hmm. So I, I was very, very excited to help put this together and I'm thrilled that it's starting on February 22nd, actually. Before we go on, let me just make one important note because we're putting up a phone number at Holyoke Community College on screen. So folks can hopefully see that two or three times during this and if they want information, they can call, register if they want. Individual separate programs, non-credit bearing sessions, they're not free. There is a cost, so folks should know that. And different individual call you, you don't buy a ticket for the whole series. No. It's it is kind of involved. So just so folks are aware of that, let's talk about some of the individual sessions you've got. Sure. How do I maximize social security? Well, oh boy. Well, yeah. you're 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 talking to the person who's not teaching that class, <laughs> but the person who knows that that's a question for that's a lot important. of people. Yeah. And actually, Susan Allen, who does teach that class, has been teaching at Holyoke Community College for a while. And we decided to group some of those classes that had to do with this, the questions of this age group. And I didn't even understand that there's different strategies with Social Security, whether you're married, you're single, you're divorced, you're widowed. Etc. And so she helps to lay that out and give you some checklists so you can think about it. I know you've written a book called Why Not Do What You Love. And so I'm yeah. guessing maybe this next segment is yours. How do I really want to spend the time in my life? Exactly. Um, and that really is something to think about, isn't it? It is. Uh, of all the things, you know, from 60 to 90 or 100, in fact, there are probably almost 80,000 people over 100 today as opposed to 1980 when there were about 15,000. So how am I going to live this life um, assuming that I'd like to do things that I love, I'd like to take dreams off the back burner, I'd like to give myself permission to really have more fun or make a contribution or think about my legacy. So it's simply, um, and everybody who comes to the course does get the book, um, but it, it's simply a way of thinking about possibilities when you've got big question marks. Another segment I'm going to deal with, and I, I love the title for this, The Job World Has Changed. How can I update my job search skills? That's an interesting because a lot of folks, 55 and plus, aren't ready to retire or hang up their, their work life, but chances are they've got to look for something different or work at it differently. Exactly. <clears throat> and um, obviously the world has changed. When you and I were looking for a job, it was quite a bit simpler. Mm -hmm. It's not so simple now. Um, everything's online. <coughs> uh, the job market is, is limited and changing on a daily basis. So 
uh, this particular course, again, helps you think about what is the new strategy and what you have to prepare yourself for and how you do that. And, and career coach um, Fern Selznick has uh, offered to teach this, and it's wonderful. And you do get, as you mentioned a few minutes ago, into the, the tough questions <clears throat> that come with aging, assisted living, how do I choose among retirement living options? Exactly. That's got to be a very interesting oh. evening, I would think. You know, there, these are things I've learned at getting these instructors and seeing how they wanted to approach these topics. But clearly, there's co-housing, there's the village model, there's roommates, there's assisted living, there's independent living, and there are new models of dealing with uh, the institutions that support seniors. Um, Meadowbrook, I'm sorry, Masterpiece is one, and the Eden alternative is another, and people may want to look into those. Just new designs for supporting us to be fully healthy and happy in our later years. And as we said, you do get into those areas that Absolutely. a lot of folks don't like to talk about, and, and it is such a tough time for family members when someone passes affordable choices for final arrangements. That can be critical. Yes. Um, Sandy Ward, who is, happens to be the president of the Funeral Consumer Alliance of Western Massachusetts, mm -hmm. she'll be teaching that course. It's, it's, not, it's a single session, really opening people's minds to the fact that there are possibilities. You can evaluate funeral homes. You can have green burials. You can have a funeral at home and after, after death care. I'm sending my body to science. Mm -hmm. So that's another option. But it's really looking at what are my choices for whatever your persuasion is about what you'd like to have happen to you. We're going to talk about how does hospice really work and dealing with end-of-life issues people don't really want to talk about. It's important. It, it, it took me a year to actually fill out my MOLST form. And the MOLST is M-O-L-S-T. It, mm -hmm. It's, what is it? Um, Massachusetts Order of Sustaining Life and Treatment. Right, right. Yeah. And the actual, so the, Lisa Abel is going to really encourage people and explain why and help people think about the questions around that. And Leslie Hennessy is going to be talking about the hospital. She's head of volunteer programs for Bay State um, for many years and is just to help answer people's questions. We have designed this to be a conversational program with information that will allow people to think about things differently than they may have had before. Well, again, it's living fully at 55 plus, and an awful lot of folks are putting a lot of years into that plus category these days. So this is an important area to think about and consider. Martha Johnson, thank you so much for your time, for coming in and being with us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.